you. I take what is yours. I believe the morning. I believe the morning bell just rang. It's always amazing how we always arrive just in time to, to hear the morning bell. Down? Perhaps a little. Mm, yes, nuts, delicious. She took I my feel like belt. I'm a little bit. Hey, can't like what you see. Hello. No, no. 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 <laughs> am I am no. I better in terms of uh, sound? Am I am I not as <laughs> loud now? <laughs> You're good. Sorry. A little less anime too. <laughs> <laughs> what is anime? <laughs> We have to get our story straight, <laughs> everyone. Uh, okay, okay. Really, really. <clears throat> we have to get our story straight. We had a lot of time to talk on the road. I think it's a good time to finalize what our decision is before we go in. <sighs> we were talking about telling the truth up until the point about the missive. We don't know what was in the missive, and if we are hard pressed, if he begins to try and squeeze information from you. You can remember that the Lord said something about headed, heading west. Heading west? Mm. All y'all? West, yes. Yes, as per his original mission. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> as long as we're all on the same page. Did we say no. we're going to Dunstead or...? or... He will know we're going to Dunstead. Yes, we tell him the Are truth about <clears throat> Dunstead. He will already know yes. the man in the green tunic. Works. Everything yes. is the truth except for that we read that we know what's in the missive. It would uh, seem, and I believe, that that man. Anything? Did we tell no. them that we went to Dunstead or keep with our original story? <sighs> as about this, as for everyone else, as for everyone else, we mentioned we were headed over to Adwick and we encountered a group of bandits on the way there. <clears throat> Figure the roads were a bit too dangerous still, so we decided to head on back for now. I mean, our, our blades are bloodied at the moment, so is that much convincing at least? I don't know. I think Cat might have a point. If everyone well, if Fulgrith already knows, there's no reason to not tell anyone else. If Fulgrith already knows it, then... Why don't we just sneak back well, in? He'll already know it. <clears throat> he doesn't need everyone else in the keep knowing it as well. We can try that. This Sorry, is in case we Sorry, I missed it. Sarah wants to just sneak back in sneak and avoid back in. people noticing us. There is... That's a good idea. There is one thing. I need to get to my scribery so I can send off a missive before I have to answer well, the Well, if you me. act like you're doing something <clears> wrong, <throat> you're going to get caught. So walk up there with confidence. Yeah. You fucking live there. Of course. <clears throat> people we went as soon to as we get in there. Or Don said, I need to know. We don't have to one say any specifics, things is going I just to need to know if we're... Going to... We should s we're either going to walk we in there and we're going to get state. fucking arrested, or he's not going to do shit. Which is probably a little more worrying. Well, first things first, we're going to come back and all the people, not even the guards or Fulgriff, are going to be like, Oh, <clears> you're <throat> back already? Where'd you go? That's what we're trying to figure out what we do with first. I like the idea of so we say we... telling them we went to Adwick, oh. got attacked by bandits, and, and went home. Yes. I like that idea. Mm. Right. We protect them from knowing what we know, and so if... To not, Fulgrith. not to Fulgrith, to not the people Fulgrith. that no, ask us, the, the town people. Those are the people that ask us. And yes. when Fulgrith well, asks us, we tell the to truth. Fulgrith, no, and we'll say because we didn't want people to know because it was an interesting message from, well, it was a message from Godfrey. He told it to keep of it course. a secret. So that's what we did. <clears throat> that's the reason we didn't tell everyone. But then what is the time to think about this? <clears throat> but there is no point to keeping it a secret anymore. Fulgrith already knows. His no, we're not keeping it a secret from Fulgrith. We're not keeping it from Fulgrith, we're keeping it from everyone else. What I'm saying is we don't keep it from everyone else. You just tell them we, we went to Dunstead. We were told by the Lord and Dunstead that we are supposed to keep this entire thing completely secret. You're right, you're right. Yes, you did. We're not supposed to tell a soul, well except for free, the people within this group. Mm -hmm. Do not forget. Mm -hmm. You're right. So then we Wallace, tried to go to Adwick. Berrigan, whatever the fuck his name was. And Godfrey. You'll have to forgive me, I, I, you're right, I'm just tired. Um, it has been a long Good idea. We'll... So we tell the townspeople we're on our way to Adwick because of bandits, because of bandits and then Fulgrith asks, we tell yes. the truth. There we go. <clears throat> Our stories right. are straight. Yes. Fair enough. I'm the, the truth truth is... the truth mm -hmm. is we... The truth is that we... Yes, delivered right. a message. We don't know what was in it. They question us weirdly. We don't know what was in it? We don't know why. <clears throat> and then we came home. We don't know why, but we do remember he said something about heading west. If, if pressed. If pressed. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, Let's yeah, not overcomplicate right. it. Let's leave it like that's that. Fine. Let's yes, go. That's fine. True. Yes. Let's okay. Go. Yes. Good. 
Rule number I one, did don't make. Act like you've done anything fucking wrong. Nope. We won't get... <clears throat> We're cool. just getting our story straight in case they do end I up. I did make Wait. an observation, actually. Hmm? Uh, go ahead. It was about the um, our encounter on the way out, actually. But is this something you'd like to say first? The letter you have for my assistant. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> yes, here. Yeah. Me, Do me a favor. <clears throat> Stamp on Shit's it a bit. fucked. Uh, Break the seal with your foot. Man, those bandits that attacked us really, uh... Anarchist. ...fucked up that thing. Up, yes. yeah. <clears throat> Give me a moment to brush off any boot prints. I want this to look, uh... <clears throat> I don't want any, any evidence linking us for opening this ladder. Alright, let's see. Dear Ren, this is your... ...your mother. <sighs> Ah, oh, dear. Right. What? Not. That you feel like an asshole now. It's his mother riding home, Blair. What, is it coded? His family estate. Uh, no, apparently... Good Sir Ren is... Some lord's son. <clears throat> apparently not too popular with his father. That adds up. Apparently, he's been sent here to... Hopefully, earn some favor back with his father by doing good work as a scribe here. His mother's begging him to do well so that he can <clears throat> come home. Very well. I as see. on that note, um, is this? Are, are you, you going, going to? Go, yeah. Thank you, Mirandel. <clears throat> these ravens. It was dropped and stamped on yes. by the bandits, of course. Uh, oh, what do you mean, ravens? Well, the, these messages you'll be sending. Is it going to be one or multiple? Ah, yes. I'm sending one to Godfrey and one to Merrigan. Is that it? This isn't going to be a constant communication thing. Because if it is, I think you should encode it. And that would mean in the first message, send the code. So that he knows what the fuck you're saying. In case the worst does happen. <clears throat> one quick note before departing. because I have no experience with that off. sort of thing. Um, I noticed that the... um. Those mercenaries that we were attacked by in the forest on our way out. They did seem similar to the guards that had arrived with the previous courier, the royal one. I wonder if he yes. himself instructed them to stay behind and assault us. It is likely. That is also why I believe Fogler already knows. Courier mm -hmm. <clears throat> had a head start right. on us. Let's just go and act okay. like everything's fine. If Fulgrith ends up coming and getting us, you know, drill, blah, 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 yeah. everything's fine. We just delivered a message and Those came mercenaries home. <clears throat> that attacked us, are, as you all know. Yes, Iron Wolves. Those like we're coming from same mercenaries that live by. <clears throat> right. Bolivia. Come on, fucking eye. It was definitely the same. Okay. Iron Wolves. I don't know if it is the Ian exact on the same mercenaries that work for Lord Tormor. Might not talk anymore. Oh yes, <clears> I meant <throat> the Iron Wolves. Mm -hmm, right. <clears throat> okay. Right. One thing I'm concerned about is all those patrols. Yeah, what's the deal with that? We were coming in. Mm. Yeah, so are, are they waiting for us, or why are they heading down the north road? Perhaps it's Fulgrith expecting Company. someone. Do you think? Fulgrith <clears throat> is expecting... Merrigan. ...us? Not us. Perhaps the... Ah. Well, or it could just be them beefing up <clears throat> security because, you know, <clears throat> the flames and such. Right. Of course. Good morning, Ian Dale. That's a fucking Just way. coming back from our trip. <clears throat> yes, we were headed to Ardwick. Not that long. We had to turn around. Back yep, that's correct. The um, <clears throat> the ones that attacked us on the road are the ones that came with the missive or are from Ledford either way. Uh, the ones that were in Dunstead themselves <clears throat> are uh, different.
Cat, stop. Stop. Yep. Guards up ahead. <clears throat> Me too. <sighs> Mirando, guards up ahead. Right. Shall we? Well, um, yes, we have no reason to fear them. Mm hmm. Oh, it does. don't really reflect intelligence, I'm sorry. Oh, it must be my charisma then. <laughs> Might be. Uh, Morning, yeah. Lieutenant. Hmm. Hmm? Lieutenant? I wish I was a fucking Lieutenant. Sorry. <clears throat> <More like. laughs> right. Good to see Apology. You, and you as well. What brings you out to uh, the forests? Uh, aren't you supposed to be, uh, protecting Lord Cornwall's estate? Aye, uh, the rest of it. We can't walk around. Oh, you can. Is there a reason why uh, the rest of your friends split off after staring uh, at yes, us out in the open? They're talking to um, another mutual friend up there, the Dryad. And she's out picking mushrooms. Don't fucking mug us now. Oh, we care about <sighs> silver and the guild, it's not on us. I don't think that even if we wanted to, that we could mug you. Probably not. <clears throat> Anyway, enjoy your stroll. And tired. Stroll we will. Take a um, seat. Sergeant, you'll be around today, In right? Fact, or are you heading out? Oh yeah, I'll be around. Okay. I'd like to talk I to you about. Just came out to get away from the constant blabbering of mask and paperwork and all uh, that shit. And Leadfit itself. I come out here often too. I understand. <clears throat> I didn't see you lot leave. Did you not? No. We left it um, around dark. We were trying to get to a head start on a trip to Adwick, but we've had to turn around as a hefty bandit present on the road. Oh, fuck that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't travel on the roads unless we had a full company. Hi. Mm. Here's a Hi. word that came by the other day. Um, what was it? <sighs> Rowlett was talking about it until he went in the keep, hasn't come out since. It was a caravan of sorts, um, apparently going from Lion Hall over to Ambershire to help with the whole food problem. Hmm. The whole thing got ambushed, oh. and in ropes. Almost everyone was killed and the supplies were burned. Don't know what that's hmm. all about. Hmm. <clears throat> that was recently. So smart. Ah, this morning we heard about it. Some town crier came through, went to the keep, left already. Oh, well, damn. Glad we turned around. Hmm. Yeah, I would not go on the roads okay. by ourselves. Not safe. Hmm. Um. Take care, Sergeant. We'll uh, see you inside the walls, I suppose. Unless you mm -hmm. do you have business. Uh, maybe later I'd like to meet up with you and talk about that offer we talked about, perhaps. <clears throat> eh? Not a problem. Fantastic. The, uh, wolves always welcome new blood. Hmm. Okay. Next time you go on a trip like that, you should hire some. We'll keep you safe. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. After what thought happened. about it, but <clears throat> yes, expensive though. But I guess you get what you pay for, right? Mm -hmm. Depends on the job. It's only expensive if it's if it's far, mm. and depending on how many you buy. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe we'll think about that next Don't time. Don't let us slow you down. <clears throat> Go on about your business. Wish you the best. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, and a word of Very advice. Good. Castle's on high alert after that nose, and the guards are a bit, uh, restless. <clears throat> Careful with that. Hmm. I see. Thank you. All right. Don't go on, lad. Likewise. <clears throat> um, well, I guess business as usual up to the scribery, I suppose. Actually, trail mm. far, far behind me. <clears throat> I'm yep. taken. 
very well. I don't know. Intense. <clears throat> No, we got attacked by bandits on the way. Decided to come home. Oh. Roads aren't safe at the moment. <clears throat> it's fucked right now. I see. Hopefully, though, it'll do its mm. job. They've been working on it night and day, so I'm surprised. Better than nothing. There you go. What? Great. Mm. Morning. Uh, Alright, so Beer Chat just booted me out a while ago and now it's not letting me back in. Hmm, you know what? He needs something. What did I need? It's mostly wrapped up. Just checking on some things. Actually, I'm, some help I'm a bit getting into place now. I'm a bit I can't the training program. It might be a good time to brush out. Okay, <clears throat> okay, um, suppose. Well, hey, you gotta work on the palisades. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you need help. Kyla, if I do get taken, if I well, when I go in there, I need you to do something for me. Find Awen. Tell him the whole truth. Tell him I might need him to get me out of a jam. Okay. Now. Okay. Right. <clears throat> if you're not comfortable telling him the whole truth, at least... I'll tell him what he needs to know. <clears throat> you trust right. him. I do, with my life. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, hello. There we go. Swing it. Hold on. Swing it. Alright. Oh, get up. Swing it out. There we go. You might need to grease it, but. You okay? But. Better than what it was. Sure. Like I work. How's the, uh. Splintered and off the hinges mess. Everything going on with your, you know. Now make sure you give the. What? Let's go inside somewhere. <clears throat> make sure you, uh, give Tyler the new key. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything too important we need to talk about, is there? No. Where's everyone else? <clears throat> um, of the group that went to Adwick? They're uh, doing their own things, I suppose. Business as usual. <clears throat> Mirandel's doing some work in his scribery. I should probably be up there actually helping him clean. <clears throat> well, let's go. It's not your job to rotate people, it's mine.
business? With the scribe. <clears throat> I work for him. Right then, go on. Thank you. <clears throat> Just here to do my cleaning and I suppose homework since you were right. grumpy with me about that before. Good. Good to hear. I've been busy on the road to Atwick. Where's your homework? Good day, Ren. Oh, I have a message for you. No, for me. Sure, you gave me to give you this. <coughs> You'll have to forgive us. We were waylaid by bandits on the road, so unfortunately, um, mm -hmm. it is a bit in a sorry state. It was oh. trampled on. And he'll hand you like a, a, a rolled up bundle, but it's like been stepped on a bunch, it looks like, and mm -hmm. covered in dirt. Hmm. Let me get this open. What is it? Um, you'll read that it is a missive from your mother saying that um, if you do good work here, potentially father will allow you to come back home, uh, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is splendid news. Oh goodness. Um. Ah. Uh, I will get right to work. That's ominous. <laughs> of course. Oh, and Mirandel, um, I'm going to be looking for some, um, uh, uh, some ink and some paper. I, I, I might be, uh, writing a little bit of a, uh, a letter for myself later. Mm. Of course. Silence. Will you come look at this, um, these words that I'm writing? Uh, I want to teach you a few of these. Those are way too big outside my skill set. <clears throat> said something about a cone. Uh, it's outside of my body. I don't understand what you mean. I don't know, just something that someone got their hands on. It. Stand up. You're asking me to develop a cipher? What the I, I can't do No, that a code. I said a code. I, I'm already giving it, I don't know, I'm giving it preface. I'm giving it uh, all, all the pomp and circumstance of a normal letter. Uh, I'll try to put in some gilded wording, but I. What is that fucking dash thing? What does that mean? I need a hard fact. Yeah. Uh... That is um, an advanced technique that you're not ready to learn yet. Um, but what is Mirandel doing right now? Mirandel is writing a letter to Lord Merrigan, thanking him for his hospitalities, uh, writing to confirm that he has made it back safely, uh, and he's trying to figure out how to put in the words. Any fight. Okay, good enough. Hard facts. <clears throat> Aaron. Okay, alright. Yes? Yeah, never mind. I thought of something, but it's gonna work. Maybe I can. I'll hear it. I'm all ears. Maybe it'll spark an idea. Ask if I should distract Ren. What do you. Not a bad idea. But he'll hear them go. Uh, and you'll see the door open. That's not. Right. I I don't think he's in full with pocket. He knows. It's honestly just here for work. Does he? Have you spoken to Xavier yet? No. You'll notice uh, a weird draft on the back of your head. And when you turn around, you'll see that your window is cracked open and a raven is missing. God damn it. What? Is that guardsman? <clears throat> another one? Yeah, it's another one. <sighs> Close the window. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we should invest in some locks for him. To put on where? He needs a door first. 
the windows. Ah. It could be a good idea. <clears throat> Something. I did some uh, lock making the other day, actually. I was hoping more. Good practice. <clears throat> Made a couple locks. Um, one to the Adventurers Guild. And two to the church, if you believe that. Uh. <clears throat> Mirren? This one opened. How many Dear is that? Lord Godfrey. I still have two ravens. They're coming back. I just don't know who's sending them. If Isaac Falkworth really cared to learn who was sending out these ravens, he'd have guards stationed here. More often. Yeah, they... They keep telling us that they don't have enough, though. What else are we supposed to do? <clears throat> I don't know. This letter says, Lord God, pretty, uh, your, your initials were on it, but, um, Lady Gwendolyn was written in my silver block. Wait, is this one yours? I don't know if she's up there, though. Mm hmm. Yes. What's it doing oh, over there? The ones I've been moving around. Well, please don't. I put the, he puts oh. them in a very specific spot for a very spe specific reason. He likes some. Well, yes, I'm organizing them. I'm cataloging them. Well, have you talked you to see, him like, about those that? Those are the reference books over there. Those are the high Okay, books. but is this a reference book? Because this, I don't know what that means. I just know that it do normally doesn't go over here. Well, it's supposed to go over there now. What? Well, okay, but have you, like, you're just changing stuff around without bringing it to anyone's attention? Well, like, it, it's orga it's organized just like the library is in the capital. It's as simple as that. This is the optimal way to be organized. Okay, it's optimal for you, but is it optimal for Mirandel? Because that's kind of like, this is his kind of domain, and it gets very weird with well, books. Well, you know, he, he's a learning man. It, if it's organized, if it's good enough for the librarians at the capital, it's good you? enough for Mirandel, and I know that for a fact. <clears throat> you know what? I was taking the initiative. I was making sure that he was getting the had access to us as much things as possible as easy. Right, I get it. Cool. Can you show me where this one goes from now on so I can understand so I don't move them around uh, by accident? Yes, yes, yes. Let me see. No, give, give me. <clears throat> this one is a it would help if I reference could to various herbs and basic medicines. That would be the reference books which we are going to be putting back there. <laughs> right this way. <clears throat> You see, um, come here. Mm -hmm. You wish to learn, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, first of all, you can tell by the structure of this book, by specifically this marking and this marking, that it is a reference book. But unfortunately, because reference books are stupid, you have to actually open it up to figure out what it is. The words that you're looking for in this case are herb, that one right there, mm -hmm. and medicine. That one right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you see those, then they go into this general direction. So, two parts. Symbol in the front. Mm -hmm. Herb. Medicine. <clears throat> back there. Okay. And is there any for which shelf it goes on and, or anything like that? Oh, let me double check. Uh, I usually scan this if it's a botany. Uh, metallurgy. Uh, right here. Here. Medicine. Hmm. Okay. It's not so much that this is the specific shelf for it. It's all about relative location. So, this one starts with um, metal working, and then it goes to, where is it? Metallurgy, and then medicine. It goes in a structured way. Mm -hmm. Such that you can find whichever book that you need fairly and easily. And Mirandel should know that. Very well. Structure of this. I'll, uh, well, if mm -hmm. I start moving around books again, I'll start kind of putting them in the general area to help you out a little bit, I suppose. It's the least I could do. Oh, that would be fantastic. I mean, to be fair, that's pretty much all I've been doing around here. So, so many books. It would be good to have it. There are a lot of books. I'll have to go through those not, piles soon. This isn't, an this isn't anything compared to uh, the capital. Really? There is many more there. Mm. I've never seen this many books in my life. I had to manage, uh... Yes, that's, uh... House Wyther. It was, um... 
friend. A personal Ooh, collection walk. alone was. A moment, I, I need some time alone. Um, yes, of course. Uh, I apologize. Uh, if you need anything, I'll be out walking the town. Of course. Uh, thank you. Let me know if I can help you in any way. Of course. Um, have a good day, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We can pick up later. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, you finish your cleaning and then you go to. Uh. Alright. Kyla, I need your help. I don't know what to write in this missive to. <clears throat> to Merrigan. I don't know what Fogarth has done that is incriminating enough to. <sighs> to make Merrigan take a move. Uh, well, he stole supplies from Lord Godfrey, did he not? He did. <sighs> but. That does not prove that he is a traitor to the crown. No. He hasn't done anything yet. Traitorous act. It's not what we're trying to prove. What if I tell him about the trinket that we found, about the mines, about how Fogleth, the mines didn't exist until Fogleth got here, that he's mined it up, and then when I asked the prince about it, he did not know a thing. Oh. I... I don't know. I don't know either. <clears throat> Damn it all. Okay, so you've explained to him that we're here. Ready. If... Arendel? Uh. <laughs> yes, Savior. Mm. Mirandel, uh. Can I help you? Um. Is he okay? He'll be back very shortly. Why, why are you asking if he's okay? Oh, did you hear about the bandit attack? Um. Yeah, yeah. But, um, there's also something else. Um... Come with me. Did he talk to Mr. Morgrim before? Um, Morgrim came up here, but... I don't know what they talked about. Oh, then they must have talked about it. Maybe. Cat was also up here and so was Sarah Why? What's going on? I, I can trust you, right? Of course. Last night, when I went up into a, into the larder, I, I heard footsteps, but mm -hmm. I didn't pay it much mind, but then I remembered. Mr. Mirto wasn't here last night, and mm. so, when I checked to go upstairs, the window was open. Apologies. Welcome back. I was just entertaining our guests. Thank you. Well, you can right. tell him now, I suppose. <clears throat> um, the window was open. Right. You heard footsteps. What else? Well, other than the window open, and that's about it. I see. And I'm assuming they weren't just here for looking. They must have taken something, but... Xavier. You wouldn't happen to be sending these missives, would you? This is what, 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 what's this? Tell me the truth. Are you using ravens when I'm not around? 
You know what? my footstep patterns. What? No, no, what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know I don't know how to read and write. I believe you. Um, do, do you, do you need the broom? No, it was mainly the shelves today. I got a lot of dust out yesterday. <clears throat> oh, that's good. I'm sorry, I'm just high strung, Xavier. Please forgive me. It's okay. You just freak me out, any... out there a little. You can keep your ear out. Well, it's my responsibility to keep these birds safe. But yes, please. And if you hear footsteps that you don't recognize, and it's late at night, uh, now that would be too dangerous. Just be safe. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll keep my eyes and ears out. Oh. Right. See if... If you just so happen to be... I don't know. Emptying out a bucket or something like that. When you're hearing these footsteps and you seem to notice just by chance. <clears throat> yes. We'd like to know. But, you know, I'm not saying, you know, sneak around or anything like that. Just... Be you just a little bit more alert, yeah? Mm. Thank you, Xavier. Of course. We have to start taking risks. You're right. We also have to start making sound. This is beyond us. I wonder, well, I have an idea. Space. But he fell down the fucking stairs. <laughs> no, he's going to shoot him. I have an idea. Stop fucking. Wait. Never mind. Hello. I don't remember what to say. <clears throat> Service. Tyler, you know those mercenaries work for the courier that works for Volgrith, correct? Mm hmm. He's trying to stop us from doing something. And he's willing to kill us for it. Yes. So. He's got crossbowmen, ready to take out any missiles I send. Hmm. So let's send him a bait send message. You sent the one to Godfrey? That's good enough. Mm. Bird is fucking weird. Aren't they all? Um, throwing up and shit and falling on the ground. <gasps> no, is that Alex? I'm sorry, little friend. Probably. Oh, fuck. Fucking brain deficient. Well, I... I'm... He's ha inhaled a lot of dust. Uh, Kyla, yeah, that's it. probably why you... I need your advice on this. I'm going to send this missive to Lord Merrigan. It simply states that we thank him for his hospitality, and we are glad his missive reached him well, and we wish him well on his travels westward. And we send <clears> it through this window. Uh, whoa. Down, we will likely be brought to Uh, that's a no. Why not? Well, if it gets to him, he's going to take that yeah, as us saying for him to go westwards. That means he right, will not right. be coming here. The westwards. I'll revise it. A new sheet. Uh, burn the old one. I'll take out the westward bit. Burn the old one, of course. Come on, Mirren. It's on mm. fire. Take it to the bin. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> With a five, a gust of wind comes through the open window, and the embers from the burning parchment go onto this bookshelf. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I get it. I grab the blanket. Grab the blanket and immediately just... I grab the... the fucking... whatever this is. I forget what it's called. Trying to put out the fire. <laughs> For the six. I put the rug. The blanket's really no. dry and dusty. <laughs> I grab the rug. I grab the rug. <laughs> the rug. With the rug. In 18, the flames start to go out on the bookshelf, but now there's a burning blanket on the ground. <laughs> on the blanket, too. <laughs> I'm stamping on it. Lay the rug on it. Lay the rug on it. Lay the rug on it. <laughs> With a 19, you put the blanket out, and there's a nice big God. scorch mark. On what the, the floor. fuck is wrong with you? Hey, hey, wake the fuck up. I don't know. <sighs> you better start that out of oh, fuck me. People are gonna 
ask questions as to why there's a bookshelf. <sighs> so the fucking pages get caught fire. Pressing the fucking ash into the ground. Well, no, it's under the rug. It's on the bottom of the rug. Dear Commander Merrigan, thank you for your hospitality. We hope that Mr. Yeah, but I've found you wiped well. it onto the bottom of the rug um, and put the rug back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, we have returned we, uh, safely to Leopard with the critical one. <laughs> As you're talking to yourself while writing, you inhale some ash and have a horrendous <laughs> coughing fit. And now the paper's wet because we are <laughs> God, I feel like oh, for fuck's sake. are against me today, don't you? I just think <laughs> luck's against you today, Mirandel. Everything's against me. <sighs> oh my god. I had that yesterday, but it was my face. Again, thank you for your hospitality. We hope that missive has <laughs> found you well. Uh, I write to you from Castle Ledford. To let you know we've arrived safely, and, and good luck on your travels. To let you know we have returned safely, and good luck on your travels. Yes. Good. good luck with Very good. Work. Good luck with your work. Uh, no. This... Another one! Put it on the fire! <sighs> You're right! <laughs> no, just leave it. God. I'm just going to... I'm just going to cross out travels, and put in work. Great. <laughs> it's going to look suspicious as... <laughs> God. <sighs> okay. Well, I've blotted out the word travels, so it's completely blotted out. I'll just say it was a typo. A get my typo? Oh, you mean a righto? Right, a right. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to jump on the parapet of this castle. <clears throat> I'm going to jump. I'm sorry, little birdie. I'm going to deliver um... this message myself. Jumps out the window. I'm sorry, bird. Do what you want. Let's let's watch it and okay. Why did you make that bird noise? <laughs> did anyone see it get shot down? Not yet. Hmm. Maybe we should equip them with well, like when flares the, or when something. When you hope the gods are here, they're not. But when. They... Thank you for the 69 bits. Thank you, thank you. I suppose I will take a moment to contemplate this. <clears throat> Gonna be there for... Take a moment. They did not shoot it down. Fucking great. Now he's gonna have this weird ass letter delivered to him. He wants answers on what <clears throat> he's doing. God damn it. He's waiting for incoming raids. Fuck. Oh, what if we. Americans are more cunning men than we. What if we said we await your arrival or something? No, it's too late now. Fuck. What if we shoot it down? You could hit it. Have you seen how far she can throw those fucking rocks? Okay. okay. Don't even know why we're worried about him or anything that's going to happen in this fucking town when we know it's coming. Hmm. You realize the big picture has nothing to do with Falgrith or Ledford or anything. It has to do with what the fuck the Dryad just told us a couple of days ago. <laughs> Don't give two shits about what happens in this fucking castle. Well, it's not going to matter much against whatever is on its way here. I'm starting to see your point. 
Kyla, help me scrub. Oh, for fuck. I'll go to the I'll go to Xavier and get some cleaning supplies. Just sit down. So those burn marks are going to immediately believe that they burned so <clears throat> that they didn't want people reading. Uh, yeah. Accident. And before I forget. And before I forget. He like tips his candle over to get wax all over his desk. There we go. Now it looks like a <sighs> Wait, I got an idea. Trying to take it. I got an idea. <sighs> And perhaps some uh, wax on the list as well. Very smart. Why? So it looks like I knocked it over. Why would you do that? I'm I like the pain. No, it looks like I knocked it over. You weird. Mm -hmm. Here the burnt remains. Yeah, uh, get some wax on the remains of the page. Why are you making it look like that again? <clears throat> make it look like an honest accident. Tyler spilled wax all over my desk, set a page on fire, and on his way to carry it to the bin, he almost caught the entire library on fire. I might have to fire you for this, but it's better than... Just well. take it out of my pay. You want to um, slap me? Is that what you want, Mirandel? Sure. Huh? You want an excuse to fucking no, slap me? No, I was me? gesturing to your ears. <laughs> <clears throat> I do like my ears. I'll be back. Zuko needs to learn his fire bending. But... Stop calling him Zuko. <laughs> Don't ever play with us anymore. We call him Zuko. <sighs> right now? You'll be back soon. There's a hole in this wall. Is it circle shaped? Um, this looks like I'm laying underneath a blanket, but... You look like your grandma. You wanna be knitting. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm 60. I'm a grandmother. 60? Oof. That's a young grandmother. 60! So, humor me. Let's say we just dip. Where do we go? The ghost starts haunting me with fucking possess him and kill you, and then I'd be alone. <laughs> but we're not allowed to leave? We're stuck here? I don't fucking know. You tell me. Scoop. I'm scooted. <coughs> what the fuck? You take off some. I'm serious, leaving sounds like a better option day by day. Don't you want to find out what happens, even if we get to watch it a long way away? Partly. But... Everything in my instincts is telling me to fucking run. There's other stuff going on, it's just... I have a lot of pussy being the kind of by the end. Things keep going the way they're going with me, I might not be able to wait for Sarah. And that's ultimately going to be your choice in the end, Kyla. Mm -hmm. Not mine. Going to make you stay. Because I can't protect you from the castle. <laughs> Good job. Uh, oh no. Nearly accidentally reported you. Oh, bitch. No.
Aaron, don't take your sweet time. What if he's arrested? And we are very close behind. What do you need to see Merinda for? Fucking lock it. Oh. Decided to keep it then? Mm-hmm. Mm. Didn't do anything when I left it there, so might as well fucking make profit off of it. Also, he pulls out a silver coin. Look what I stole. From whomst? <laughs> Scratches. Did you? <laughs> There's pickpocketing to see if he had anything on him and I found a silver. Oh. It has us. Hello, Ren. Oof. Hello. <laughs> Good walk. But either you happen <laughs> to know. You see him. I seem to have lost something recently. Mm hmm? Hmm? Is it a bird? Do you think you could help me <laughs> look for it? What is it? You see, while I was reading the town board today, I noticed that I was missing a silver from my pocket. My favorite silver. Your favorite <laughs> silver? <laughs> How <laughs> the fuck are we mm -hmm. supposed to know our silver coin? Alright, Kyla, Ren, get to work. Help me clean this mess. There's a bucket <coughs> of water. Mess? What happened? I have some rags. Kyla spilled mm. a candle onto a parchment I was writing. Oh. I nearly set the place on fire trying to bring it over to the bin. But distracted. Yeah, a rag for Goodness. you. Yes, thank you. A rag for you. Mm. Ren, you will help me take care of the singed covers of the shelf and the ashes, getting them off of the books. Kyla, you focus um, on the How floor. big was the fire? Not that big, just a few embers. We got it before it spread, mm. but it could have been a disaster. <clears throat> uh, we need to dry wash it first. A lot of these. If we just wet wash it right away, it'll just spread everything around. You're right. Let's dust mm. it off as best we can first, and then mm. see what happens from there. All right. What made you think that was a good idea to spread the flame like that? We're in a place that's literally all flammable. Well, I what? You act, you're acting like I did this on yeah, fucking Kyla. purpose. Why did you mm. do it, Kyla? Well, <laughs> I saw the flame and I was like, I put it in that that big empty bin over there. And as I was trying to put the fire out is when the embers kind of drifted everywhere. You thought you would put a fire out by putting it into a bin. Well, I was going to smother it when it was in the bin. The emptiness of it. You haven't put much okay, unused okay. paper in there. Okay. To be fair, the window was open. It blew the embers away from his page. Mm -hmm. Couldn't fully control it. To be unfair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just peeved right now. Why are you peeved? Mirandel. What the hell was Mirandel. I had a silver stolen from me. My favorite silver. Mm, well, either way. Did it not just fall out of your pocket? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I keep my money where it should be, at my hip, and close to me. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. It's not gonna. How fall. do you? How do you know? Oh. It's my favorite silver. But how do you know? Present. I kept it the entire time. It's not in there. How do you know it's your favorite? How could you tell it any different from any of the other silvers? There is a special marking on it. There's a special marking on it. It's a little bit of like a scrape down the middle. I put it in myself. Okay, I. Uh, it was a gift from my mother. Okay, I will. 
I'll be going to the tavern probably later, and I'll keep an eye on the coin that gets exchanged. If I see something that reminds me of that, then I'll, I'll remind you. I'll get it or something. I don't Thank fucking you. know. I appreciate that. Yes, I know. I know what it's like to lose things that are important. What really concerns me is that only two people passed me <clears throat> when I was reading the sign. A human and a drow. Did I pass you? Did you? <laughs> the person who I was standing next to only saw a human and a drow. I mean, I could have, I suppose. When was that? I trust most of the... Ah, earlier this morning. I mean, I did walk past there. I don't, I don't recall seeing you, but I was kind of... My head was in the clouds, so I don't know. I was talking with an elf. We were reading the board together. Hmm. Did you see me? I don't recall seeing you. I might have done, but I don't fucking remember. I was just then. It must have not have been you. Headache. Yes. Now <sighs> you said I don't think there are many humans that would steal from me. What makes you say that? Are you blaming my assistant of stealing a silver from you? No, I'm not. I'm airing my grievances. There's something I was taught to do. Oh, I'm sorry that you had money stolen from you, but there are plenty of poor folk in. It's not just was... a silver. It's not just a silver. It's my favorite silver. I got it as a gift from my own mother. I was just a just a kid. Uh, I'm sorry. You know what? I would care about it less if it was any old silver, but it was that one. Do you want that a was the one that was silver good. from a gift from me? No. <sighs> I appreciate the offer, but it's the sentimental value, not so much the... It's a silver. I made more than a silver in a day. That's not the issue. Make more than a silver in a day? How much money do you make? Back in... Back in the capital. Oh, back in the capital. All right, That's Mirandel, it. I've cleaned up my mistake on the floor. Right, glad to hear it. I get this burn checked out by Soma. Probably. Go to the infirmary. Hmm. Make sure you report burned. back here, though. Wait, you so want... I know that you're all right. <sighs> you're going up and down stairs all fucking day. Good for you. Well, do you need me for something, or, like, why am I... No, I don't. Never just good news, it's always... Be on your way then, you fine, if you don't want to here. spend time up here and learning the arts of reading and writing with... Your friend, Mirandol, for fine. He's so heartbroken. Stay with him. <laughs> don't look at him. I'm just kidding, like you're... <laughs> you're free to go, <laughs> go. Get your burn checked out. Get your burn checked out, you fucking Hi. musty crusty. Yes? Please. Ooh. You must stay with me and scribe Get lonely. Write my book. <laughs> the nights are so cold and dark without oh, someone. So cold and windy. What are you even doing up here? Resting my back, actually. Oh! Awen! He's finally awake. Uh, what are you doing by who? Okay, don't go outside the castle, all of you. They're charging an elf tax. Oh, I'm not an elf. Great. Right. Uh, you, you have pointy ears, I'm they're gonna call you an, an elf. elf. Do you, do you know that that's smart. It's racist as fuck. I yes, get we, we get taxed as well, you know. No reason. It's whatsoever. disgusting. You know, you know, you know, maybe if you put, put your makes me. Uh, over was it. thinking yeah, about it. Uh, uh, hmm. You think so? Really? You know, I could just cut it off. <laughs> yes, you know, you can fit in perfectly with. <laughs> what did the, I can't. What did the man call? My head gets a bit heavy now and again. <laughs> yes, and you can be make light of it. So. <laughs> what else is there to do? So, did you need something from me, Awen? Oh, just, you know, 
I, I was very angry about this whole outfit. What's Cade? Hmm. Cade doing? I needed to make sure that it wasn't in any kind uh, of ledger or anything, of him. course. I, I, I suppose. I assume the guards are just fleecing us. Oh, absolutely. You know, the royal guards leave I one day. I kick you in the nuts right now. You know, they're going to have shenanigans up in mm. the local guards. Yeah, they've got to <sighs> reassert their dominance. So close. Oh, yes, Sorry, their, their dominance. Show. Pathetic, truly. Yeah, quite. You know, they're calling me, uh, calling me some strange... Move so I can stand. You're holding my hand. Karen. Yeah, well, I can't Karen. walk on you, can I? Karen. What do you I mean? I, I'm not sure. Kyla? Mm. Do you know what a K Karen is? A what? A Karen. A Karen? <laughs> They're like, hey, look, it's that elf, the Karen. No word I've ever heard. Oh. Hmm. Aaron? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Hmm. I'm leaving. I don't like this conversation. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but it sounds insulting. <laughs> I'm scared of shit, but it's insulting. About it. Maybe the captain of the guard. No, the captain isn't around. Oh, it just clicked. <laughs> Karen. of an elf tax. I don't know if they're going to tax you or not. Glad to see you're back. Mm. Be careful. Glad to see you're doing well. Guards are trying to send them. Do me a favor and actually tell me next time. Where's Cade? No idea. Elf tax are taking the fucking the other way around. There's another way around. Yeah. Jump it on the roof. Uh, they will see you and. No, they won't. <sighs> oh shit! Cover your ears like this. <laughs> 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 okay. Wear a hat, baby. Hmm. Maybe a night in the dungeon will teach him some. How about an apology? Oh, you can say sorry. Get on your hands and knees and yeah. say sorry. Yeah. I have to go. I'll be taking it out of the next tax. Why? Your hands and knees okay, and say sorry. sorry. And then pay your tax. Yeah. Out of the next tax. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, that is fucking. You mean that or I just have a cap? That or I just increase the price of the bows to. He was just interested in it. The, the green four. Yeah, that's right. Because I told him the only way I could. The only way I could. Fuck. <laughs> He's not even in here. Where is he? Wait, wait, wait. What the, fu what, what the fucking fuck? <clears throat> Not the 
mau mulai ulang, mulai dari nol. Mau udah siapin. Mau ada tim pukat gitu enggak tahu. Get the hang of it, don't worry so much. <sighs> Probably day drinking again. Hope not. Very attractive. Ah, oh, you stupid idiot. I don't have a. I don't even have a leg on uh, mm. Nicholas here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> True. <laughs> Legs. You don't have legs on the class. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I'm still flabbergasted if we have to make it out of that. Baffles me. We'll take, uh... Take an uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Just a light <laughs> ale. Well, it's a light tried. ale. And some bread. On strike three. Hello? Three instances Thank of rush. No, no, no. One Not in the cave. Uh, and two <laughs> just those Something else. One day. <sighs> this next one's probably going to be my last. Not with me. <clears throat> we'll go on an hour and turn. No, this is it a, won't be a fucking it's hurry. Still dirty spot on the glass. So it's Lisa, isn't it? Probably. I think it's blood. Can I also get a number nine large, number six with extra dip, two number fours? Uh, actually, you know what? Cancel that. How much for uh, this stuff? One. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> Maybe I am. Could you blame me? All right, two, 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 four. Not for one day. Not for one day. Listen, I'm just. Is twenty-five copper. For being a good sport. Well, I figure if I'm to be grand, tortured, and potentially have my head cut off, I'd much rather. What in turn? You know. <laughs> not feel most of it and or not care. I wrote something you might find corny, but I'll read it to you later. Okay, can you direct me? Points, maybe? I'm assuming oh, you were taking care of the young pup last night. Lost. Hmm. Yes, last guy is still oh, You're gonna oh, fucking read it. Skin, so. Oh, not right now, later. Oh. Still writing other things first. It's <sighs> because I'm here. Do you want me to leave? <clears throat> mm, no, it's nothing to do with it. And if I were to read it, if I were to read it now, I'd probably butcher it. <clears throat> I probably should be writing. Butcher it. Words are getting. The words are getting blurry. He is day drinking. I told you he would be day drinking. I never said I wasn't. What wasn't? Was it? What the fuck came? Wasn't? wasn't. You sure you should be writing wasn't. right now? Hey, yeah, I'll take over. Yeah, let me get my. Yeah, let me go. Give me. Give me the book. Give me the book. Can I at least like sign it at the back of the book? Yes. As like a character, in your novel. Maybe one of his erotic ones. <clears throat> You wish I was right. You know what? Just for you, I will write and include an erotic section. <clears throat> How's that? It's just a random ass squiggle. Yes. <laughs> With a K. There's a definite K in there somewhere. The rest of it is a squiggle. Looks like the average signature to me. Mm -hmm. It's official. <clears throat> you, my father, did that. His signature was never the same. Because no one actually looks or checks, you know, they just say, oh, you signed it? Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. There was always a different squiggle every time he just grabbed it and went... Mm, like that. Mm. <laughs> Something is not standing up in this town. And... <sighs> well, <sighs> I had the grand pleasure of meeting the <laughs> scribe's assistant, uh, Mr... What was his name? Roy? 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 Roy?
Did you take a silver off of him? Nope. Oh, shame. That's a shame. He came in here... ...irritated and going on about how he walked past you and another individual, and afterwards <clears throat> he was missing a silver coin and pressed it on me that my drow had stolen a silver from him. How he expects compensation. So now he wants me to compensate for something you never did. Wonderful. At that point, I was actually hoping you had stolen the silver off the man. So at least you'd get so something you out of it. this one? A miss. And we don't know a thing about it. <laughs> My drow is innocent. <clears throat> That's what I'll tell him. I don't have that way of figuring out who's fucking me anyway. Good, 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 good. Glad my hopes were not in vain. My dagger to carve out that special mark he's talking about. Hmm. I, uh. You know, I technically shouldn't sanction that, but, uh. I don't bloody care at this point. You made a great slave owner when we were uh, on our way to Adwick. Leaving his webs. Thank you, thank you. I figure I did. Mm -hmm. for I'm gonna to turn talk. this into that letter that you said your name start with. Oh, the S. The Superman symbol on it. He doesn't like disturbances. When someone shakes the wheel. Mm. And so we don't carve too much out of that, or lose its worth. Mm. It's just covering up the mark he was talking about. That's fair. I mean, I suppose it's what it's made of that makes it valuable. Not to him, apparently. Sentimental value. Who? <laughs> Mummy gave it to him. My problem. You'll figure it out. Hmm. Oh, that was the one that the letter was from, apparently. I should feel bad for the man, but not capable of feeling much at the moment. He didn't feel very bad about reading it. <sighs> he didn't? Oh, 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 oh. Tell me, tell me, how was his he reaction? He was actually rather excited. He jumped and giggled and touched the paper to its chest. Drinks. Said, this is wonderful news. And what was the news again, exactly? I don't fucking remember. I wasn't paying attention. His mother sent him a message oh, well. saying that if he keeps up the good work here in Ledford, his father mm. might let him return to Adwick. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Well, <clears throat> there'd be one less accusatory uh, finger being wagged at me. Better put that somewhere and find it, especially on yourself. I'll just eat it if he comes looking for it. Seems like the kind of person to wait <sighs> a couple of days. Fair. Mm. Hey, you did see where that spot was, right? The spot. You know. Ah, uh, in the house? Yeah, just put it there. Yeah. yeah. Just put it there. Why would I do that? I could just eat it. You guys have a spot too? I don't think... Yeah. I don't think eating it would be healthy. Or preferable. It'll Letting you guys have wait. Yes, but just... <laughs> That's good. You have to wait and then... Keep it safe. No, I haven't. Something I'm sure your system would. Uh, you know, I actually your knew system's someone not going who to did like that. that. Just, 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 just. Listen, if you haven't need I mean, to use it. It's not it, a bad fucking. It's not bad. So your own little. Li listen, pocket. listen, listen, listen. I don't know what your body would do to that. There's, there's no guarantee. I it'll actually, come out different. I actually knew someone who who did that. Like at act. Actually yeah. knew someone who did that. Actually, and what happened to it? What happened to it? <laughs> it just passed. It went straight through. Are you ignoring the lady? Uh, I'm fine, fine, thank rude. you. I would love a top off. <clears throat> a top off, please. As Mirandor would say it. Thank you. Don't That's do that a, ever again. The good stuff. Yeah, what? Got shivers down my fucking spine on that one. <laughs> 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 I'm going I'm to top it off. I'm, I'm going to top off a drink. Mm, yes, I'm going to top indeed. Off my drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to 
Hey, Terry! Eric, uh, good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you all walking about and lounging against the wall and clearly your wounds from the other day not bothering you in the slightest, are they? Thank oh, you they're definitely much. not what's bothering me. What's <laughs> bothering you then? Do we need to talk to Oh, nothing you need to worry yourself over. Uh, you say that now, but in about five seconds, it's about to walk through that mm -hmm. door and worry all of us, isn't it? I've been good at this today. Watch. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was worth a shot. <clears throat> Should we go for a walk? I hope you're not in the middle of anything. Uh, don't, don't need to go for a walk. Just off to the... Just, uh, something that's on my mind that I thought I'd run by you. Come on. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind that I borrow him for a few minutes. By all means. <clears throat> I have I'll have a water as well. Do I owe you anything? Good. I'll take one too. I've been avoiding leaving. What have you been giving up to? As much as my gut tells me, I need to watch after you. So, last night, mm. you all vanished. Mm. And then Mirandol came up to me and said that you'd all head in, were heading off to Adwick and that you sent your fond farewells. Mm -hmm. So, how was Adwick? On the roads there, we were attacked by bandits, and we had to leave early. We turned around and came home. I could be sleeping. I could be just lounging and drowning. Sunbathing as we speak, but we have to be That's all? Sitting on the cart, moving on to our next place. You know, stuck here waiting. Speaking of which... Is that all? Hey. I think that you could handle a few bandits. We did. Then we returned home, realizing it was... As... Dangerous as it was out on the roads. Do you know what's really stronger? Well, what's more stronger than bandits and people who are good with swords? You know, it's more dangerous than bandits. What's that? Information. And sometimes we have to protect the people that we care about. Kyla, mm -hmm. I'm well aware I was in no condition to be going anywhere yesterday. I did vouch for you. But next time, if Mirandol was going to go with you, and you sent him to come speak to me, there was no reason you couldn't have just come and told me you were heading out yourself. Even if you didn't, need, even if you couldn't, or wouldn't tell me the details, I couldn't. I honestly least couldn't. Then I know. I was dragged away. There was shit going on with Sarah and stuff. I was being dragged everywhere yesterday. I'm aware. Yeah. I didn't have time. I barely had time to grab my fucking sword. Right. The information is as it will be. But for the record. I'm aware. And I can understand, believe me, I understand better than anyone the importance of some things not being divulged. I do not hold that against you. Hmm. But next time, do me the courtesy of telling me yourself if you can. Because if Mirandol was able to come back and tell me, there's no reason you couldn't have. Alright. I suppose that's fair. That's all. And I'm not poisoned anymore, so if you need something... Yes, I'm fine. Well, I wanted you to come along with us, but it would have been on what... Well, things might have been different, I suppose. 
I'll be honest. Before I found out you're going to Adwick instead of Adwick, I almost went to Adwick after you. Nation was the one who stopped me. And in hindsight, I probably would have ended up collapsing in the woods and yes, probably dying alone, which wouldn't have been ideal. No. No. No one. Notice Splotches wasn't here this morning. I checked in the house. He's um. Moved his way in there. I think he's getting comfortable with the pillow I left for him. In fact, I should probably feed him. If he hasn't already eaten. <laughs> There's. I suppose you all people would understand the importance of that. Feeding. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Tarek, there's a lot of things going on right now that are. Why should I take your word for it? You could just leave for all we know. It's one of those times. A lot. There's a lot going on. Kyla, I'm going to be very, very frank with you. Alright, I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Because I'm dead serious. You do not need to tell me what's going on if you can't. Just tell me where to point my blade. <sighs> that kind of blind loyalty will get you in trouble, Tarek. I thought there would be more. Well, there are a few bandits, but, there were but I will remember. Blind loyalty is what ended my life. Mm. Just be around, be ready. It's not blind loyalty. It's not blind loyalty, Gaila. Because for the first time in my life, I can see what's going on around me. And I'm finally starting to understand the world at large. And one of the most important lessons I've learned is that this world hates Drow mm -hmm. for no good reason. Or even maybe there is a good reason, but even some Drow, some Drow are people worth trusting and worth loving. And if I were ever to hold it against you, <laughs> you could do the same thing about me. Couldn't you? How can I not worry about that? I suppose. I'm... I'm not the product of what spawned me and neither are you. It's not blind loyalty. You're my friend. I mean, seeing as you like paid for the livestock... Right. And if that means drawing my sword, unarmored, against a hundred men strong... Fuck it, that's what I'll do. Fuck, if you came to us at work, you might have actually had to have done that. Careful what you say. <laughs> I'll say it again then. <sighs> Just not right now. Right. <sighs> okay. I have a lot of things to process. You have to forgive me. But I appreciate your loyalty and more than that. I appreciate your friendship, Tarek. Get the fuck in here. <laughs> I told you the other day. I'm looking forward to the day when I see the sun shine on you. And your amber eyes glisten. The sun hurts my eyes and you know that, Tarek. It's very rude of you to say. But. Maybe someday. <laughs> Let's make it the moonlight instead, how about that? The moon. The when moonlight, exactly. the moon hits say. my eye, like, uh... When the moon crashes down, it hits you in the eye. When the moon hits my eye, like, uh... I've lost it. There was something. There was something that could... Maybe, maybe it's a hell of time. Firefly, that's a moray. The fuck is a moray? No, trust me. I think it's Elvish. Uh. I don't think... Do you, do you consider me? I speak Elvish. He'd know. Does he? Cade. No. Cade. That is my name. Yes. You've mentioned before that you speak Elvish, right? The fuck no. What? <sighs> Who was it that said that? Then? Never mind. Mm. Um. Uh, I mean, the extent of my Elvish goes to my government. You're an elf, right? I mean, I should say, there's an what does actual elf sitting right What does Amore mean? What's Amore? Amore. Really? 
Mm. Hey, what's what's amore? amore? I almost feel ashamed to tell her story. Mm. We got about. Who told you this? Hey, hold on. Okay. I remember hearing them passing once from an elf. See, pretty, fairly certainly enough, they were tall and they had large ears. Long ears. Thank you. Maybe we had that. So his large ears are different from long ears. This place is really have seen Why the long ears? ears? No, you could swear he's a dwarf. Especially for one. <laughs> It's a very tall dwarf. I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, actually, I might. I might actually. Well, he just it's your funeral. But may I ask, make you fancy? Going back and forth already. We'll see how far we can right. take it. No, oh, he's been doing this all day. Mm. Yes. yes. How unfortunate. Hello, splotches! Have some bread. <laughs> Fucking goblin. There you go. It's like soaked in bacon fat or something. It's fine. Medieval cats are built different. They're built different! <sighs> I'm fucking trying, splotches. Fucking sick of it. And if Salar is back, then things are. Things are different now, splotches. Not like how they used to be. I just keep pretending that I'm. Well, I just keep pretending. Different. Is it time to go back? Am I strong enough? Am I quick enough? That snake is this far over here. Why? Running with bandits? take on? No, there are a lot more. Tactful. Two. 
Shadows of my past. Splotches. The shadows of my past. Back to haunt me once again. Recognize. Surely not. That means they don't know I'm here yet. They can't be coming for me. The increased activity in the area. The dread knives. Maybe it's just him. No. Do anything. Fuck. Splotches, we're gonna have to be careful. I'm talking to a fucking cat again. So how do I deal with this? 